Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang. I'm a math expert from St. Petersburg, Florida, and we are here to talk about how to solve zero exponents. Now, to, sol to do this exercise, you really don't need a whole lot. A pen, piece of paper, and a calculator if you need it, but that's all you really need to have to solve zero exponents, which is actually a very simple rule to use, and it's kind of nice. So we're going to talk about a few examples right now. Now, the rule about zero exponents is if you have a base raised to the zero power, they'll always give you one. Now, we'll talk about the condition in just a minute, but the only exception here is that the base itself cannot be zero. In other words, zero to the zero does not happen for this particular rule. It's not equal to one, but we'll talk about it in, in a minute. Now, how does this become one? Now, you may have seen this particular rule here, b to the m over b to the m. You know that if the terms exactly match, you get one. But you also may know this rule where if you have b to the m over b to the m, you will have to subtract the exponents. And as you know, that's b to the 0. But part of the logic here is if you know b to the m over b to the m is going to equal to 1, then, and we know this is equal to this, then b to the 0 also has to be 1. So what does that tell you? That means anything raised to the 0 power except 0, of course, is going to be 1. So if you could have something like uh, 500 to the 0 power, that's going to be 1. If you have negative 1,000 raised to the 0, that's also going to be 1. You could have some really large term here, 5xyz to the third, all that to the zeroth power, that's going to give you one as well. What you have to be careful of though for zero exponents is again where the parentheses would be. If you had something like uh, 3x to the zero, that's what you have to be careful. There's a difference between this and parentheses. Notice there aren't any. So what you have to do is evaluate this first, x to the zero, that's going to give you one. And so what you really have to do is three times one, which is going to give you three. Now, Back to the exception here. Zero to the zero power is known as indeterminate form. Okay, which means undetermined. So the one exception here is that the base cannot be zero. But other than that, as you can tell, using the rule is very straightforward when it comes to zero exponents. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's how you solve zero exponents.